Hello, in this video, I'm going to cover UNOVA's project manager. I'll be using a test instance for UNOVA along with an admin login. Um, so the data might be a tad bit old, but it'll still give you an overview of how the system works. Uh, you know how when you have so many tasks to complete and you inadvertently forget to do a couple of them, especially when you're working on a huge project and you have multiple tasks to juggle. And imagine being the project manager for a long and big project. I mean, how are you going to keep track of all the tasks that you have to do? And who's doing what? When does what need to be delivered? It's actually a very mind-boggling, harrowing task. So this is where project manager comes in and helps you to basically just keep track of all things that are related to your project. So let's start. We'll see what you can do with project manager so click projects to access project manager this is the page that you see first when it loads this page is basically your dashboard from this dashboard you can on the dashboard basically you have an option to select which project you're a part of and uh, you will see all details or rather an overview overview related to that project on this page so you can see all the tasks that are set up in this project. You can track time and add notes from here. If you have any upcoming deliverables in the week, they are shown in the calendar here. And then directly as a quick access, you have options to add new milestones, new tasks, upload new files, create events, um, create a new discussion topic, add more people to the project directly from the dashboard. The next page that you need to see is uh, projects. Projects gives you basically a list of all the projects that you have been added to. So currently there's one project called Web Design Project. Uh, if you are a part of multiple projects, all will be seen in this list over here. From this page, you can uh, view details of your current project. So it gives you a project description, all the tasks that have been set up for the project, their priorities, deadlines, the progress, and also who they have been assigned to. And then there's a project details when it was created, when it did start, a deadline, the client, and other details. So what you can, uh, if you are the project manager or the admin, you can edit a project by clicking here. Here you can change the title, the client, manager, the description, or you can uh, invite people to the project. Well, basically, you can add project members, you can set your project settings, everything, and hit save or apply. Other than editing your project, you can print your project, project details page so, in case it's required. Instead of just clicking on the name, you have quick access to editing, going to, uh, checking out the tasks and tracking the time of the project from here itself. Other tasks on the projects page is um, adding a new project, copying projects, archiving select items, deleting items, uh, checking for project join requests, and um, managing user project user groups. So let's try adding a new project now. Click new and in the general information tab, enter the title. Uh, there is a, enter a client if there is one. Enter the start date for the project. Select if it has a deadline and select the deadline date and time. You can search for projects that you have had and uh, select them in case there are any similar projects. And there's a project location where you can enter the name of the place where this project is going to be taking place and the project value. Here will be where you will uh, add the project, uh, project description. So let's enter something here. Next, you can go and invite people. 
So force join basically tells you if uh, you want to add people directly to the project without asking them if they want to join a project. If you deselect this, people who you have selected here will get a request to join the project and which they can accept or decline. So to add one member, and to add more members, you can select, keep clicking on add member and add people. To remove people, just click on this uh, minus sign over here. In project settings, you can actually see, uh, you can actually set if this project will be private or public. Uh, a public project means that non-members will be able to view this project and they can also probably send you join requests. So you can set if you want people to request to join the project over here, enter the website for the project, and email for the project, or direct contact over here as required. After you've put in everything, hit save, and the project is added to your list here. Now, once this project is created, you can go back to it, click edit, and from this list over here, from this drop down here, you can select who will be the project manager. And you can click save again to save these settings. Next, um, after you create a new project, what you will need to do is set up the task, tasks in that project. So click on tasks to access the task page. The task page displays a list of all the tasks and milestones that have been created for a particular project. In this project, as you can see, there's a long list of tasks and milestones, and there is a progress marked beside uh, every task, along with a start date and end date. The rows that have new tasks uh, mentioned beside them are milestones, and the new task mentioned is an option to add a new task under that particular milestone. So um, if you are a part of multiple projects, you can change your project from here and view the task for each project. Let's check the task for the new project that we have created now. There are no tasks or milestones for the new project yet. So let's start by first creating a new milestone. In this stage, you enter the title and description for the milestone. A description is uh, optional. And on the next tab, you can set the deadline and priority. Once you have set both of these, you can click save. And the milestone is created. Now, a milestone is completed only if the tasks under a milestone are completed. So let's add the new task for this milestone. Click on new task to create a new task. To add that, you have to enter all the information asked for in this page. If title, miles, uh, the milestone under which the task will come, the progress when you start off with the task, the priority, start date, the end, uh, the end date if it has any knowledge based suggestions, and a description. Knowledge based suggestions actually um, help you uh, link, uh, provide reference material for a particular task. If you have any reference material in UNOVA's discussion forum you can link them to this task. Let's start with adding the task. Responsible persons allows you to select which member of your team will be completing this task and how many man hours they will be provided to complete this task. 
and remarks is any notes you would like to save for that user. Enter everything and click save. So basically an event, uh, sorry, a task is created and a notification is sent to the person you have selected who will be doing this task so that they know that they have an upcoming task and they start it on time and end it within the deadline. And as you can see, the, the milestone and the new task are seen in this list. The same way you can keep adding multiple milestones and tasks for all projects. You can also, you also have an option of selecting items and clicking on copy or delete as we would like and this part here gives you an option to filter through this list in case it gets too long and uh, search for items more effectively next let's uh, check out files files is um, the place where you can upload all your project related documents and these will be shared with only your project members. So basically the files uploaded here are very secure and will not be visible to colleagues or employees who are not a part of your project. There are some pre-made folders here into which you can uh, upload files or you can directly create a new folder from here and upload them there. So to create a new folder, click new folder. Enter the title, description, uh, attach it to tasks if required. So if any particular task has a file or a folder that is related to it, you need to upload any files related to any particular task. Then you can uh, name the task over here and hit save. Once you do that, uh, the folder will be seen in the list over here. And then if you want to upload any file into a particular folder, click on the folder name. And then click on new file. So it allows you to upload a file into that particular folder. To upload a file, select, click choose file and select the file from your computer. And add a description, attach it to a task if necessary. And uh, click save and the file is uploaded and into that particular folder. Other than that, you can also add a new note. Notes also can be attached to tasks. So enter the title, description, the content of the note and attach it to a task if necessary and click save and the notes will be seen here. You can also select folders and move them into another folder or you can move files into from one folder to another using the move option and click delete to delete any file or folder. Calendar. Calendar is where your entire project is mapped in terms of time. It tells you about uh, milestones, about projects, tasks, events, like they have different colors over here, as you can see. And you can see uh, which task is related to what kind of task, basically. This is, a, this is the start of the project. This is the start of a task and a deadline also for the task. And then this is the end of your milestone. And this is the deadline for your project. So this way, if the more number of tasks, more information will be seen in the calendar here. You can also use this plus sign to add a particular event or, you know, onto the calendar related to your project over here. So fill up the information asked and hit save and the information will be seen on the calendar directly. Next, we move on to discussions. Discussion is basically a discussion forum that is created specially for your particular project. So whatever topics that are posted here by members are visible only to the members and non-members will not be able to see them. Uh, as this is a new project, there is no discussion here currently. So let's start by adding a new discussion topic. 
So enter the title. And enter your query. Now your, uh, your post basically can be of two types. You are either asking a query to someone or you are answering someone's query. So here, since we are starting off, let's start with a query. Then we'll see how you can reply to a discussion, uh, to a post and take it forward. Once you've entered whatever you need to, your query and your title, hit save and the topic will be seen on, on the discussion page. As this is your post, you can edit it, you can delete it, you can toggle content. That is, decide if you want, it, if you want the content to be seen here or not. You can also subscribe or unsubscribe to topics by selecting them and clicking on subscribe or unsubscribe. Or you can either ways toggle this envelope that you can see here to subscribe or unsubscribe to uh, single topics. And to reply to a topic, basically what you have to do is click on the name of the topic. And in the reply section, add your reply and hit and your reply will be posted and seen as a thread. So once you have entered your reply, hit save here. And this is how you will see the thread of the conversation with another reply option at the bottom. Now, moving on, let's go to timesheets. Timesheets basically map the amount of time that any member has uh, spent doing a particular task. Uh, the four tasks that we see here are the tasks that are being done by the Unova system that is a user and how much time the user has spent on these tasks. So a total of one hour on one task, two hours on another. This helps in uh, mapping how much time has been used for every task and it gives a very good indication of the user's efficiency and uh, how well they have planned their time. To add a new timesheet, click on add. You can select a task enter the date and uh, how much time you spent on it. A quick note if you need and hit save. And the time spent for that particular task is uh, saved and shown in the list of timesheet. Next, we move on to groups. In case you are working on a very big project where you have about 15 to 20 group members and there are certain documents or discussions you would like to hold only with a particular group of people. Say for example, there's a very big e-commerce project and you have a group of developers, a group of designers, a group of testers and you would like to coordinate or rather you want to have a discussion or share some documents only with the developer team. In such a case, you would not want to share irrelevant information with the other teams. Um, and hence, you can create groups even within a project so that you can hold such discussions. Again, when you create such groups, non-group members will not be able to view the content or the discussions held within the group. So to create a new group, click on new, enter the title of the group, that is the name of the group, uh, enter the description if required, and then you can select which options of the project manager will be visible to this particular group. So whichever options you tick from here, you can then allow this group to see. So select all tasks, select all files. To add members to the group, click add member and select from your project. Select whichever options you need to and hit save. 
and this group is created. In this group list, you can edit the, uh, edit the item from here. Next is your project members tab. Currently, you have four members in your project group and um, you get an overview of their role, their names, and you can send them individual messages if you would like to. The next page is reports. Reports will show you each milestone and each task inside the milestone and shows you a graphical representation of the allotted time versus the pro percentage progress and the actual time taken. Once you have um, completed all your tasks or any time in between, if you require, you can print out this report. You can select the kind of report that you would like to see. So you can have a percentage lacking report or you have a person wise global report. Basically, you can see uh, which member has done, has completed how much of his tasks and everything. So this is about it. This is all you need to know about Unova's project manager. Thank you very much.